are still toiletries, correct? Right. Yes. Okay. The seal so. is to fix the bathtub. Mm hmm It was my husband's. Right. And I can't. I can't open it and fix the bathtub because he's not here. And so it just sits. And that's what that is. Okay. It has to be done. And the easiest way to do it is probably to find a handyman or somebody and just pay the money to have it done. But I have the equipment to do it. This needs to stay in the back. Okay. And let's let's just take that for a second because this, this is the pain that we have to uh, recognize, identify, and go through instead of avoid, right? Yes. That's and what we're we need here, to do. And this is why we wanted to come back and make sure that we're going to guide you through this. Because this is where this is where it comes from your heart. And we know that you, you love this man. And his memory is always going to be right here. Right? But it's... I know. I think I mentioned I lost both of my parents, right? Yes, you did. Really young. And I know my mom and dad are with me every single... They're, they're right here right now. <laughs> I'm watching me coach. And I know that Rob is here too. Right. It's just... I haven't gotten used to the idea. Right. And it's still new too. It was just a couple months ago. So... But it does, it does get easier. It does. Um, well, here's something really important that we have, we even coached a 90 year old woman and she never get, got over the grief and it was 50 years. So I'm here to tell you that time, it's an illusion that we say time makes, I mean, yes, it, the distance makes it a little bit better, but we have to actually make a conscious Change. choice, a decision that we're going to live in the present moment. We're going to get out of the past, and I know it's hard, And but here's the thing. You're going to be, you have a clean slate in terms of an open, open opportunity to live in the present, because all of this has been you living in the past, and you yes. now, you still have a couple hours left of your life. We don't know how many hours, <laughs> right, right, yes, right, that's true. right, we so. have a little, we don't know how long right. we're going to be, but right. here's the thing. We need to live... In, in honor of Robert, not because a lot of us say we need to mourn. Why do we need to mourn? We can celebrate him by living even fully now today because he doesn't have the chance to live on this physical plane anymore. He's, he's got no pain. He's in his spiritual realm. That's great. But you still get to play on this physical realm. Now, here's the thing. You were stuck in the past with all this clutter. Yes. But now is the time to break out those board games <laughs> and start playing, right? right. Yes. That's what your soul is yearning for. Yes. And that's what it deserves. And maybe you haven't been taught that, that you deserve it, but you now have two loving coaches who care about you who are saying you do deserve it. And we're going to hold that space until you grow into that. Okay. okay. All right? And it's literally a choice. So here's, here's what our brain does. It says, this is Robert. Yes. Uh-uh. Yes, no. This is not Robert. Right. No. This is in this is a trigger that that reminds, that, that reminds me of Robert. Now here's the thing. You can either have a trigger that is going to say uh, pain, suffering, loss, trigger, or <gasps> it triggers Robert. Oh my god, you remember all those special times, all those little idiosyncrasies that we had? Yes. And you can have laughter, you can have feeling love and connection with Robert instead of loss, sadness, and depression, right? Yes. And it's just a cycle that we get into, and that's what depression does. It, it holds us captive, but we have to break that cycle. And no time is ever going to break that cycle. It's literally a choice. This is not going to remind me of Robert to equal sadness. It's now going to remind me of Robert to say, I need to live today. I need to move forward. I need to feel the pain, and instead of run from it, I need to process through it and go through it and choose and go, Robert, laughter, he's in a much better place and I'm going, I'm dedicated and he would want me to be in a better place. Yes. And that's where I'm going. 
right? That, yes, right? that's what he would want. Okay, so this is not Robert. No, it is not. So that means we can get someone who knows because you probably are not a big call, no. right? <laughs> no, no, no. So this no. goes. So this goes in the clean you know, the, the cleaning, cleaning and repair box okay. over here. Okay. Oh. And this is my. Okay. This is my dragon. Oh, another dragon. Okay, we'll put that with the other dragon. <laughs> and that is wow. Wow. Okay, so do you remember just, this? Like, was yeah. up to there before? I know. Okay. All right. So now, Susan, <laughs> look at me. That thing that you wanted to run away from. Yes. That cock. Yes. That's what I was running away. From. But do you see how this avoidance is how this all came about? Yes. And you and and it takes a little bit of help I and mean, guidance and seeing things from a different perspective. But do you see how it's not the pain, it's the pain that's coming that you're producing. Yes. And you've produced too much pain for yourself for too long. Do wow. you agree? Yes. So we're gonna be showing you different tools and strategies of how to release yourself, but there's no more time for you to keep beating yourself up and making yourself feel sad and the depression. There's no more time, right? That's true. Okay, it's time to live. It's, it's time, time to play. To move on. And it's mojo time, it's baby. It's mojo time, it's mojo time. So, live freely, freely love, love openly, openly, and, and light up the world with your, your special, special gifts. gifts. Yay. Thank you. <laughs>